Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will demonstrate different uh, options to retrieve data from a SharePoint list. This is my SharePoint list that I am going to use as a data source. So let's start it. Navigate back to Power Automate. Click on Instant Cloud Flow. First option to retrieve data from a SharePoint list is using action get item. By the help of get item, we can retrieve a single item from a list uh, based on the matching ID. Provide the list name and provide the ID. Suppose I would like to retrieve item with ID 16. Hit on save. Our flow ran successfully and this is the output. Next option to retrieve data from a SharePoint list is by the help of get items. Search for get items. Provide the site address, list name. We are going to utilize this list employee details because I would like to demonstrate the threshold retrieval limit in case of get items. By default, we can retrieve 100 items from a SharePoint list. Maximum, we can retrieve 5000 items. But in order to retrieve 5000 items from a SharePoint list, we need to do some configuration in the get items. So if you look at here in this list, my count is this. So this is a good data source to test the functionality of get items. This is my list. Now let me add one more action so we can verify the output number of items output from get items. In from value Add one more action compose to count the number of items. By the help of length function we will count the number of items. Now we are good. Let me quickly test it. You can ignore this warning for now. This is all related to utilizing the parameters, get items parameter to filter out the data.
are flowed and successfully. Now let me have a look on the count. By default, we are able to retrieve 100 items from a list, but we can retrieve up to 5000 items. We need to provide the value like how many items we would like to retrieve, but the max value we can provide here is 5000. Now let me test it. Our flow ran successfully and we, we have successfully retrieved top 5000 items from a SharePoint list. I have recorded a video how we can retrieve more than 5000 items. I will provide the link in description. Now the next option to retrieve data from a SharePoint list is by the help of REST API. Search for send an HTTP request to SharePoint. Select the action. In the site address, in URI, provide this URI. Include one more action, select to extract the IDs from a SharePoint list. Let me rename it to avoid unnecessary typing. Write this expression to retrieve item IDs from the previous section. Results is an array within the body of get items, and then we need ID column. Click on OK. In from we don't need to provide the ID, remove it from here, click here and in the map field we can extract ID from the collection of items, click on OK. Okay, there is some error. Let me quickly fix it. But our 
rest api action worked as per the expectation there must be some parsing error in body we have d within d we have results okay in body we have d and within d we have results now this should work properly using rest api again we can retrieve max 5000 items so we need to build a logic in order to retrieve more than 5000 items that i have already recorded a video you may refer that video our flow ran successfully and these are the items so this is how you can utilize rest api in order to retrieve data from a sharepoint list next option is using graph api in order to retrieve data using graph api search for action invoke invoke an http request this is a premium action first time when you use this action you will have to authenticate you will get a pop up provide the url of the request so i have already constructed a url but you can also utilize graph explorer to play around with different request options This tool you can utilize in order to play with the graph API. This is the endpoint that we are going to utilize to retrieve the item. This is site ID. Uh, how we can retrieve site ID by the help of the endpoint, rest endpoint. Underscore API and site. Search for D id so this is the site id same site id we are utilizing here if you look at here this is my site id and this is the list id how we can retrieve list id by navigating to the list setting if you navigate to the list setting at the top in the url this is my list id ignore percentage 7d at the end and also ignore percent 7b at the starting in between this is your list id similar list id you need to use while you are calling a graph endpoint just like this and then items and within items which fields you would like to retrieve we quickly run it so we have successfully executed the endpoint and this is how you will get the data now let me quickly copy paste this endpoint from graph explorer navigate back to power automate in invoke an http request paste this endpoint graph api 
and again I will extract IDs from this graph object. In the from part, navigate to expression and write this expression body. graph api value is the object array of items within value we would like to retrieve the item id by the help of this expression we can retrieve ids from the collection of object. Click on test. Our flow ran successfully and we have extracted IDs from the graph object. So this is how you can use graph API to retrieve data from a SharePoint list. These are the four options in order to retrieve data from a SharePoint list. If you would like to retrieve single item from the list, you can go with get item. If you would like to retrieve more than one item, then we have an option get items and if you would like to work with rest api or graph api this is how you can utilize the actions 